There was unrest, protests, even riots in Lexington. It was fall 1994 and a white police officer had shot a black teenager, Tony Sullivan. In the darkness of those days, Chester Grundy, a civil rights activist who founded the Martin Luther King Cultural Center at UK, says he was trying to figure out how to bring light and healing to a hurting city. And he found just the man to do it. You may not find it in the magazines. You may not find it in the books about him. But to those who were there, it's as important a history lesson, as important a life lesson as any. Human values of peace, justice, brotherhood. I mean, that's the essence of Muhammad Ali. Chester Grundy says he wanted to bring to Lexington the powerful message of the one-man play Ali. Then he teamed up with former Governor John Y. Brown and brought the champ himself in February 1995. Ali kicked off his two-day trip to Lexington with a welcoming ceremony at the Dunbar Community Center. He watched the Wildcats play and got a standing ovation as the Y at Rupp Arena. It was the kind of thing that uh, brought people together uh, from across the community, across race, class, circumstance, uh, all to see, you know, this man that is so, was so deeply beloved by everybody. Fast forward 20 plus years and that man, still beloved, is now gone. Even more of a reason then to teach the next generation the lessons Lexington and the world learned from the greatest of all time. What will you tell your grandkids about Muhammad Ali? Oh, I'm already telling them. I'm already telling them. I'm telling them that um, he was one of the greatest men who ever lived and if they want to imitate somebody, imitate Muhammad Ali. By the way, that was Garrett Weimer reporting. Grundy attended the prayer service for Ali today. He'll also be at tomorrow's funeral. He says he wouldn't miss it even if he had to walk all the way from Louisville, all the way to Louisville from Lexington. The prayer service Grundy attended with thousands of others was the first of two large memorials planned for the boxing legend in his hometown of Louisville. Pallbearers escorted Ali's casket into Freedom Hall for the service. His family sat in a viewing area today while thousands strained to watch as prayers and tributes were offered. More tributes are planned for Friday in Louisville. Thousands are expected to line the streets for a 19-mile procession to the Cave Hill Cemetery where Ali will be buried.